habiskan topik 8, kita start dengan 8.2 asymptote. So, what is asymptote? Awak dah pernah jumpa dah benda ni dulu kat tempat function and graph. But then for topik 5 function and graph, awak sekadar jumpa untuk graph reciprocal. Kan, ada satu jenis graph je, reciprocal then you have to find the asymptote baru awak dah boleh lukis graph tu. Okay, now for this topic, Uh, topik 8 ni, kita nak cari asymptote untuk apa-apa saja function yang dia bagi. Uh, semua jenis function, tak kisahlah function tu awak terhenti lukis ke, awak tak terhenti lukis ke, you have to find the asymptote. So, we have two types of asymptote, vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. First, we focus on vertical asymptote. Okay, so for vertical asymptote, there means the line of x equal to a. Saya dah highlight kalau kuning tu. Semua so, boleh fikir logik kot. When it comes to vertical, mesti x. So, it's value of x. Okay. How do we find this? So, we have to do one-sided limit test of x value. So, sebab tu dia dalam task tu, dia buat x approaching a from right. And then, kita kena buat x approaching a from left. Alright. So, our target now, we want to get plus or minus infinity as our answer. Lepas kita dah buat test tu, kalau kita dapat plus minus infinity, tak kisah. Sebagai jawapan, then we can conclude that as our asymptote. So, in order to find this, kita ada three main step on how to find vertical asymptote. So, saya summarizekan kat sini. Step number one, first we must find the x value. So, macam mana nak cari x value tu? Denominator equal to zero. Most of the time, your function must be in the uh, type of fraction lah. Dia dalam bentuk fraction kat situ. Pecahan, quotient. So, macam mana kita nak dapatkan x value? Denominator part equal to 0. Okay. After that, we get the x value dah dapat. So, we do one-sided limit test. One-sided limit tu apa? Yang test from left and from right lah. Okay. So, From there, target kita mesti nak dapat infinity as our answer. Tak kisahlah plus or minus. Ha, dia tak kisah positif ataupun negatif infinity. Yang penting infinity as our answer. So, kalau dah dapat infinity as your answer, barulah awak boleh buat conclusion that that is basically our asymptote. Ingat conclusion kita mesti jawapan yang melibatkan x value. So, those are three main steps on how to find vertical asymptote. Kita terus proceed kepada example. Ada tiga example je saya letak. Okay. So, first one example one we have find the vertical asymptote of x plus 3 over x plus 2. Nampak? Kalau graf macam ni, ini bukan, ini all, sebenarnya graf reciprocal. Tapi awak tak jumpa fungsi yang macam ni kat topik 5. Kita ada x on numerator and denominator part. So, kalau tak reti lukis graf, kita still boleh cari dia punya vertical asymptote. So, remember our step just now. So, step number one. Denominator, we equate to zero to get the x value. So, now we have x plus 2. So, simplify this up. We get x equal to negative 2. So, dah dapat dah. Itu x value kita. And then, we moving on to step number two. kita kena buat one-sided limit test. So, for our x value, saya start dulu dengan x approaches negative 2 from left. So, saya buat negative tu eh. Ingat, from left of our function. So, x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. And then, as usual lah, bila nak cari limit, you must directly substitute. So, directly substitute this, we get 1 over 0. So, 1 over 0, semua orang dah belajar minggu lepas when it comes to constant divided by 0, we will get infinity as our answer. But now we have a problem, kita tak tahu jawapan kita positif ataupun negatif. So, nak tahu benda tu, awak dah belajar juga minggu lepas, kita kena try sub value. So, now we have negative 2 from left. So, kalau from left, kena ambil kat belakang macam ni kan? So, nilai the nearest value approaching negative 2 from left would be negative 2.1. So, negative 2.1 substitute again kat bahagian yang punca dapat kosong. Punca dapat kosong tadi kat bawah ni eh. 
kita Dia tak perlu tunjuk pun tak apa tau Yang saya tulis colour hijau tu Tekan calculator je cukup Saya tunjuk lah jalan kerja macam mana dapat So we get 1 divided by negative 2.1 plus 2 So kita dapat 1 over negative kan kat situ So jawapan kita mesti negative That's why we get negative infinity Ah, uh, Ini semua belajar minggu lepas Kalau rasa hilang ingatan kena tengok balik video tu Okay So kita dah dapat satu target Negative infinity Now we have to repeat the same step Limit X approaches negative 2 from right Of the same function lah So basically we just repeat the same step Directly substitute then we get 1 over 0, we can conclude this as infinity. So once again, problem kita tak tahu, sign. So, pilih satu value. Negative 2 from right. Dia ambil dari depan pula. So, kita kena pilih negative 1.9. So, directly substitute, kita dapat 1 over negative 1.9 plus 2. Atas positif, bawah pun positif. So, kita akan dapat jawapan positif. That's why we conclude, we get positive infinity. Okay, settle. Kita dah dapat dua-dua infinity. So, moving on to step number three, we have to do the conclusion. Okay, for conclusion part, yang ni kena hati-hati. Ramai orang selalu um, silap faham. Dia buat mazhab sendiri, dia kata sebab sign tak sama, so kita tak boleh conclude tu sebagai jawapan. Boleh, it doesn't matter. Even though kita dapat different sign, one is negative, one is positive, it's still infinity. So, we can conclude that x equal to negative 2 is vertical asymptote. Ah, Sign tu tak sama tak apa. Satu positif, satu negatif. Dia tak kisah tu. Dua-dua negatif boleh. Dua-dua positif pun boleh. Yang penting dia mesti infinity. So, itu three main step on how to find vertical asymptote. Okay. Okay. Kita nak check lah. Saya saja nak tunjuk. Betul tak apa yang kita dapat ni? Negative 2 as our vertical asymptote. So, semua orang dah tahu. Kalau kita nak check, kita boleh gunakan Desmos. Desmos boleh lukis semua graf yang awak uh, nak lukiskan. As long as awak... Sekejap eh. Saya tukar skrin sekejap. Desmos boleh lukis semua graf yang awak nak. <coughs> Alright, so just now yang kita cari function kita is x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. Okay, x plus 2. Ah, itu graph kita. Saya harap semua orang nampak lah graphnya. Ah, ni graph dia. Okay. So, kat dalam graph Desmos ni walaupun dia tak buat garis putus-putus Biasanya asymptote kita ada dotted line kan Tapi awak nampaklah kat mana graph awak curving Dia approaching je kat sini obvious ni Nampak graph ni curving and then yang graph sebelah kiri ni pun curving Dia takkan sentuh langsung negative 2 Dia approaching je x equal to negative 2 ni Kalau saya zoom out ni graph kita nampak uh, Dia approaching negative 2 Tapi dia tak akan sentuh langsung negative 2 Saya zoom in valid. So from here we can conclude lah x equal to negative 2 is basically the vertical asymptote. Graph takkan wujud kat situ. Graph undefined eh. Okay. Itu cara kita nak check jawapan lah apa kita kira tadi. Bukan shock sendiri. Okay. Saya tukar screen semula. Hmm. Kenapa dia tak nak kasih tukar screen? Sekejap ya. Hmm. Okay. Okay, itu tadi baru first example kan. Function dia, function uh, reciprocal kuat senang. So, kita pergi second one. Okay. Ini pun sama. We have 2x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 1. Obviously, awak takkan tahu cara nak lukis graf ni unless you use the Desmos lah. Ha, tapi, 
ke calculate dia macam mana Okay itu yang kita nak buat So repeat three main step just now Ingat step number one Find the value of x How to do that? Denominator equal to zero So now we have x squared minus one equal to zero We get two different value of x Plus minus one Ah Jangan terkejut dia boleh ada banyak asymptot So kalau dapat tiba-tiba ada empat vertical asymptote tu Empat-empat lah awak kena test So now kita dapat dua value Positive and negative one Maksudnya dua-dua uh, value ni kita kena buat one sided limit test lah Ada empat kali test yang kita kena buat sekarang Okay So moving on to step number two One sided limit test Saya start dengan negative one first So we have x approaches negative one from left Copy back your function And then ikut step yang sama lah When it comes to finding limit Kita kena substitute So try to substitute this Apa yang kita akan dapat uh, Negative 2 plus 2 Over 1 minus 1 Kita dapat 0 over 0 Tak boleh kan Ini first case indeterminate yang awak jumpa 0 over 0 Cannot be classified as your final answer So we have to manipulate the function Macam mana nak manipulate function? You have two option Factorize or multiply by conjugate Since we have a quadratic here So we can factorize this function Saya padam balik yang 0 over 0 tu tadi Tak nak? Okay So try to factorize this function We will get oh, Common factor of 2 For numerator part Denominator part kita dapat X minus 1, X plus 1 So common factor of X plus 1 Can be cancel out Try to substitute once again We get 2 over negative 1 Minus 1 so final answer Negative 1 So bila kita dapat constant macam ni Dia bukan infinity So bila bukan infinity maksudnya dia bukan Asymptote so kita reject Ini bukan asymptote kita Okay, itu first case Negative 1 from left Now, kita kena try pula Negative 1 from right Walaupun kita tahu Kadang-kadang kita akan dapat jawapan yang sama Sometimes kita tak dapat jawapan yang sama Kadang-kadang So, kita mesti kena try lah So, negative 1 from right Kalau try substitute once again lah We get 0 over 0 So, we repeat the same process eh Saya tak tunjuk dapat 0 over 0 I straight away factorize the equation Once again we have common factor of x plus 1 We can cancel that out So directly substitute We get negative 1 once again So lagi sekali kita dapat constant Kita reject juga Ini bukan our asymptote Okay Settle negative 1 Now kita kena pergi Oh 1 pula So limit x approaches 1 from left Memang kena try satu-satu tau Tak semua dapat jawapan yang sama So try to substitute here we get Atas tu 2 plus 2 over 1 minus 1 So we get 4 over 0 Ha nampak Tiba-tiba kat sini kita dapat constant over 0 So ini sebenarnya infinity Lagi sekali nak tentukan sign Kita kena test value So if it's one from left Kita kena ambil 0.9 So 0.9 substitute into equation Now we get 4 over 0.9 minus 1 Dapat negatif lah kat situ So it's negative infinity And then last one Limit x approaches one from right The same function, function sentiasa sama Tak berubah tu, x squared minus 1 So we get sama juga 2 plus 2 over 1 minus 1 So 4 over 0 Nak tentukan sign of infinity Lagi sekali ganti nilai So now 1 from right We choose 1.1 Oh 1.1 lah Jangan pergi jauh-jauh eh, ambil 1.1 So we get 4 over 1.1 minus 1 Dapat jawapan positif So positif infinity So from here kita dapat conclude Bila kita test negative 1 Kita dapat constant Sebab tu saya tulis reject Itu bukan jawapan yang kita nak Kita tak boleh conclude dia sebagai asymptote But when we test 1 
kita dah dapat jawapan infinity even though it's different sign it's still infinity so we can conclude this at us sorry we can conclude that as our asymptote so last step tak muat saya tulis kat atas eh step number three don't forget itulah conclusion awak apa yang awak buat mesti value of x so x equal to one is vertical asymptote Settle. Nampak macam panjang sikit lah tapi sebenarnya kalau awak kira jalan kerja je, jalan kerja yang simple-simple je. So dia cepat je boleh dapat jawapan. Dia tak ada masalah lah kat situ. Okay. Kejap lagi nanti kita buat kat Desmos eh. Tengok betul tak jawapan dia one je. Negative one tu bukan asymptote. Tapi saya nak pergi soalan yang seterusnya dululah. Nanti kita check terus graph dua-dua soalan. Okay saya proceed. Okay, next one we have 4 plus x divided by absolute of x plus 3. Ini pun sama. Dia reciprocal tapi tak berapa nak reciprocal sangat because it's as absolute value on our denominator part. Okay, so tapi jangan risau even though it's absolute value kita still buat benda yang sama. Kita still denominator x plus 3 equal to 0 so we get negative 3. So, negative 3 sekarang kita punya uh, value yang kita nak test. So, kat sini orang jangan jangan buat plus minus 3 tau. Ramai orang dia tiba dia macam confused. Eh, absolute value bukan ada plus minus ke? Yes, kita dah belajar. Kalau saya tunjuklah satu-satu. Kan sama dengan kosong. Nak buka plus minus 0 apa benda je kan? Sebab tu lah kita akan dapat negative 3 je. Ha, tu saya tunjuk jalan kerja panjang. So, jangan tiba-tiba confuse kenapa dia bukan plus minus 3. Ha, sebab dia when we open up the modulus, it's plus minus 0. So, kita memang dapat satu value je kat sini. Okay. So, settle step number 1. We get x equal to negative 3. Okay, pada melit lah yang tak penting ni. Okay, moving on. Step number 2. Sekejap eh. Macam ada bunyi. Ada orang tak lepas masuk ke? Hmm, tak ada pula. So, we do one-sided limit test. So, limit x approaches negative 3 from left of the function. So, we get 4 minus 3 over negative 3 plus 3. So, 1 over 0 is constant over 0. For sure, it's infinity. Lagi sekali, dia tentukan sign. So, negative 3 from left which is negative 3.1. So, kita dapat 1 over absolute negative 3.1 plus 3. Sebab ada absolute value, dia confirm positif. So, jawapan kita positif. So, positive infinity. So, kita dah terima. Okay. Now, kita buat pula limit x approaches negative 3 from right of the same function. So, 4 minus 3 over ini. Saya salin lah. Dia benda yang sama kan? 1 over 0. So, we get infinity. Then, repeat the same process of one-sided limit test. So, it's negative 3 from right. So, negative 2.9. So, 1 over negative 2.9 plus 3. Kita still dapat jawapan positive. So, positive infinity. Even though dia sign yang sama, kita still tak kisah. Yang penting di infinity. So, moving on. Step number 3. We conclude this. So, finally x equal to negative 3 is vertical asymptote. Okay. Settled. Ha, itu je cara kita nak check vertical asymptote. So sekarang macam kita janji tadi saya nak tunjuk kat Desmos betul tak graph ni kan? Apa kita cari ni betul tak? Tadi saya patah balik kejap. Yang kes kuadratik ni tadi kita conclude one je asymptote dia. Negative one is not an asymptote. So we check using Desmos now. Saya tukar screen sebentar.
So function kita 2x Plus 2 Over X Quite minus 1 Ah, nampak tak graf tu? Oh, okay. Saya zoom out lah. Ah, nampak. Kat sini obvious saya nampak graf kita ni from left side. Dia daripada negative infinity ni dah dah approaching it. Dia turning kat bawah kan. Yang atas ni pun sama. From positive infinity tu oh, dia naik ke atas. So dia macam ada approaching satu line kat sini. Even though dia tak buat dotted line. So kita zoom in sekarang. Tengok value tu berapa sebenarnya. So kat sini. Ini sebenarnya 1. So betul lah apa yang kita kira tadi. Vertical asymptote is 1. Kat negatif 1 ni ada graph kat sini. Nampak kat sini saya tengah tunjuk kursor ni. Uh, ada graph kat situ. That's why we, uh, kita dah buat conclusion lah tadi. It's not a vertical asymptote because graph exists here. So vertical asymptote kita only x equal to 1. Itu graph yang kuadratik tadi eh. Ni. Saya pergi graf yang ketiga, function ketiga tadi Kita ada absolute value tu So 4 plus x Over Dia still macam reciprocal kan Tapi bila ada absolute Maksudnya graf kita dua-dua belah atas uh, Jangan risau lah tak adalah dalam sendiri Bersama awak dia suruh lukis graf ni Dia suruh cari asymptote je Okay uh, Something like this would be the graph Nampak kat situ Saya zoom out dulu Okay so from uh, ni from negative infinity approaching kat sini nampak dia pergi ke arah atas sebab tu kita dikit dapat jawapan positive infinity daripada side, side sini pun daripada from right kita try dia pergi ke arah atas juga sebab dua-dua tadi kita dapat jawapan positive infinity so kat sinilah lies the asymptote so if we zoom in lama nah bila saya zoom in so kita punya asymptote sebenarnya Negatif 3 Itulah yang kita kira tadi So sahih lah Kita tak adalah buat jalan kerja Mengarut sebenarnya Okay Itu untuk vertical asymptote Saya tukar skrin semula So settle untuk vertical asymptote Ingat kalau vertical asymptote Mesti ada 3 main step Step number 1 Find the value of x Denominator equal to zero. Step number two, one-sided limit test. Make sure you get infinity as your answer. It doesn't matter positive or negative infinity as long as it's infinity. Tak kisah eh, positive ataupun negative. Yang penting mesti infinity. Alright, and then moving on to step number three. You can make a conclusion based on your one-sided limit test lah. When it comes to infinity, baru kita boleh buat conclusion itu asymptote. Kalau dapat jawapan constant, bukannya infinity, then we reject that as our asymptote. Okay. Saya pergi kepada seterusnya. Kita pergi part yang kedua. Horizontal asymptote. Tadi vertical, now horizontal. Okay. So, for horizontal asymptote, it's for sure y value. Garis horizontal kan So for sure lah nilai dia nilai Y So dia mesti a line of Y Okay How do we detect this? How do we conclude it as our asymptote? Kita kena buat limit at infinity For our function Dia terbalik daripada tadi Okay So kita akan buat limit at infinity punya test One it's approaching positive infinity Lagi satu kita akan buat approaching negative infinity our target now, kita mesti dapat constant as our answer. So, kalau kita dapat constant, then we can conclude that as our horizontal asymptote. So, kat sini dia ada dua step je lah. Step number one, limit at infinity test. So, mesti buat dua-dua. Positif, negatif, infinity. Sebab nanti kadang-kadang kita akan dapat jawapan yang berbeza. Okay, step number two, bila awak dah dapat constant sebagai jawapan, awak dapat apa-apa nombor sebagai jawapan, awak dah boleh buat conclusion. Eh, conclusion. Alright, itu je. Ingat jawapan kita mesti Y value. So konsep dia terbalik lah daripada vertikal tadi. Vertikal kita dapatkan nilai constant dulu. 
Lepas tu kita buat test nak dapat jawapan mesti infinity Sekarang ni terbalik Infinity as our limit And then we must get constant as our answer Dapat constant kita terus buat conclusion Itulah our horizontal asymptote Okay kita try terus jawab example Okay so first one we have 2 over 3x minus 2 Okay so for horizontal asymptote Ingat step number one kita terus buat Limit at infinity punya test So we start with limit X approaches positive infinity of our function So 2 over 3x minus 2 So directly substitute this we get 2 over 3 dalam infinity 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 tolak 2 Infinity juga so it's 2 over infinity So constant over infinity kita akan dapat jawapan 0 So, zero is still a constant. So, that would be our asymptote lah. Jangan dapat zero tiba-tiba undefined lah eh. Uh, zero tu still constant. Okay. Now, we repeat the same step. But now, x approaches negative infinity of the same function. So, it's still 2 over infinity. Even though it's negative infinity, tapi it's still infinity lah. So, constant over infinity, it's still zero. Kita still dapat constant. So, kita dah boleh buat conclusion. Now, sebab kita dapat satu je value constant, that would be the only asymptote exists here. So, y equal to zero is horizontal asymptote. Okay. Ha, dia macam pendek sikit kan? Tapi sama je sebenarnya. Cuma kebetulan kita dapat function yang senang. Okay. Saya proceed next example So example 2 Still kita kena cari horizontal asymptote now Okay so we have x squared over 3x squared plus x minus 1 So step number 1 kita buat one sided limit Eh sorry limit at infinity punya test So limit X approaches negative infinity of X squared over 3X squared plus X minus 1. Directly substitute, we get infinity over infinity. So, infinity over infinity tak boleh. Kita kena manipulate function. Ini latest part that you learned yes, last week. We have to divide by highest power of denominator. So, saya kena bahagikan dengan X squared now. Every single term we divide by X squared. Uh, so, sebenarnya when it comes to asymptote ni, dia kena guna kemahiran semua yang awak dah belajar minggu lepas. Case-case yang kita dah belajar minggu lepas kan. Infinity over infinity kena buat apa? Zero over zero kena buat apa? Macam tu. Okay. After that, we simplify. Ingat, yang sama kita dah boleh cancel out Okay and then try to substitute once again So we get 1 over 3 minus uh, 1 over infinity minus 1 over infinity So constant over infinity kita dah tahu for sure it's 0 So now our answer would be 1 over 3 Jangan terkejut lah yang tu. Ini baru belajar minggu lepas. Kalau rasa lupa, kena buka balik minggu lepas punya nota. Okay. So now kita repeat once again the same step but now it's for positive infinity. And for sure we will encounter the same case. It's infinity over infinity lah kan. So saya ulang lagi lah the same step divide by highest power. So we have to divide by x squared over x squared minus 1 over x squared. So and then simplify. Ah, dia akan jadi benda yang sama lah kat sini. So try substitute. We get 1 over 3 plus 1 over infinity minus 1 over infinity. Okay. So we get 1 over 3 once again. Kita dapat constant yang sama jugalah kali ni. Okay. So 
Sebab dah dapat constant untuk dua-dua Kita dah boleh buat conclusion So basically y equal to 1 over 3 Is horizontal asymptote Okay, settle Kita pergi last one Untuk horizontal asymptote Okay Ini lagi menarik sikit. We have x plus 3 over set of x squared minus 1. Ha, okay. So, step number 1 kita ulang benda yang sama. Limit x approaches negative infinity of x plus 3 over set x squared minus 1. Try to substitute, we get infinity over infinity. Tak boleh. Okay. So, kita kena divide by highest power of denominator and ingat last week saya ada highlight ni. This is a special case because we have set x squared in our question. So, when it comes to set x squared, it's basically absolute. So, we have to divide by x where it's positive infinity kan sebab dia positive. And we have to divide by negative x when it's less than zero. So, when it's involving negative infinity. So, sekarang sebab dia negative infinity, kita kena divide by negative x. Ha, yang ni kena hati-hatilah ingat special case ni. Kalau salah ingat, awak tak bahagikan dengan negative x. Then, awak akan dapat jawapan yang salah lah. For denominator, because it's set, kita tak ada masalah. Kita still divide by x squared. Okay. So, once again, try to substitute. So, we get negative 1. Minus 3 over infinity over 1 minus 1 over infinity. Constant over infinity is still 0. So here we will get negative 1 as our answer. Okay, settle untuk approaching negative infinity. Now it's x approaching positive infinity. Sama jugalah dia akan jadi case infinity over infinity. So tak boleh you have to divide by highest power of denominator. Ha, nampak dia ulang benda yang sama kat sini. But then it's positive infinity. So kita kena ambil yang positif. Kena divide by positive x. Ha. Ada orang baru masuk ke? Tiba-tiba saya dengar bunyi. Okay. And then kita try substitute once again. So we get 1 plus 3 over infinity. Set of 1 minus 1 over infinity. Constant over infinity would be 0. So we get 1 as our answer. Nampak tiba-tiba kat sini kita dapat jawapan yang berbeza. Uh, sebab special case ni lah. So, jangan terkejut. It's still our asymptote sebab kita dapat constant. Even though it's different constant. Ah, uh, Yang penting constant. So, now kita kena buat conclusion. Y equal to negative 1 and Y equal to 1 are vertic sorry, are horizontal asymptote. So, untuk case ni dia jadi special lagi sebab kita ada two asymptote. Two horizontal asymptote. Yang hati-hati dia pak saya highlight tu lah Yang colour kuning tu Sebab it's Negative infinity Eh sorry, part kuning positive infinity sebab tu kita divide by Positive x Saya highlight yang bahagian positive x ni eh Yang negative infinity Saya highlight colour biru Sebab tu kena divide by negative x Sebab tu soalan tu saya divide by Negative x hmm. Siapa lupa benda ni, refer back Lecture note last week saya dah explain very detail kenapa benda ni jadi. Okay. Settle untuk horizontal asymptote. Sekarang lagi sekali lah. Kita nak pastikan kita tak shock sendiri. Me, uh, mengira ni kita nak cek jawapan. Betul tak kalau kat Desmos. Itu asymptote yang kita dapat. Hmm. Okay, saya start dengan first function yang kita kira tadi eh. First function kita kira is 2 over 3x minus 2. Hmm. Okay. 
Lama di lang. Two over three x minus two. Okay. So tadi yang kita dapat jawapan zero horizontal asymptote. Okay. Ah, kat sini. Jangan confuse tengok yang vertikal tau. Tengok horizontal. Horizontal kita garisan Y eh. Pak C. Pak C X ni. Nampak? So kalau kita try tadi if approaching from ni ke arah negative infinity nampak? Graf kita ke arah negative infinity ni dia nampak kesel saya eh. Dia approaching Y equal to zero. Dia tak sentuh langsung kan? Pak C tu dia approaching je. Sama juga bila kita test approaching positive infinity our graph approaches X axis Y equal to zero. So betul lah yang kita kira tadi y equal to zero is our horizontal asymptote. Ha, jangan tengok yang tegak ni. Ni ni vertical. Kita tak kira vertical pun tadi. Kita kira horizontal je. So betul lah y equal to zero. Okay. Itu first function. Second function just now yang quadratic tu. So we have x squared over mm, 3x squared plus x minus 1. Ha. Graf dia jadi pelik lah. Awak memang tak kena reti lukis lah. Kat sini. Okay. Yang penting tadi kita dapat y equal to 1 over 3 as our asymptote. Nampak? Goes to uh, negative infinity ni dia macam ada approaching ni kan. Tak nampak garis dia. Sama juga goes to positive infinity. Saya zoom in. Ah, uh, Nampak nilai tu. Kita tak nampak exactly lah tapi kat sini kita tahu dah half. So bawah ni sebenarnya 1 over 3 lah. So graf kita tak sentuh langsung. Y equal to 1 over 3. So betul lah yang kita kira juga Y equal to 1 over 3 would be the um, horizontal asymptote. Okay. Kita pergi last function. Latest kita kira tadi kita dapat 2 horizontal asymptote. It's X plus 3. Over set x squared minus 1. Oh. Okay, tadi kita dapat dua kan nampak ni. When it goes to negative infinity. Dia ke belakang ni kan. Dia macam approaching satu garisan ni. Uh, kita tak nampak apa When it goes to positive infinity pun Dia approaching satu garisan ni Kita tak nampak apa So saya zoom Okay Itulah dia punya graph Tadi ke arah negative infinity Dia approaching garisan Y equal to 1 So itu first asymptote kita When it goes to positive infinity Kat sini pula graph kita Ke arah Y equal to 1 Haa uh, Anu sikit je lah kat Desmos ni dia tak buat dotted line tu. Dia nampak je graph tu approaches certain value of x and y. But then kita tak nampak betul-betul. So kena based on our calculation jugalah. Awak boleh recheck je from Desmos whether calculation kita tu betul ke tak. Nak nampak betul-betul je kadang-kadang kalau when it comes to point form susah sikit lah nak nampak benda tu. Okay. Settle about asymptote. 